Hi everyone, uh, this is size 12 2x long shank hook, um, which is a B200 in Kamasan size. And the thread I'm using is Rusty Brown 80. Start just below the eye. Touch and turn. all the way that's enough just between barb and a point are some marks I will explain all the material so this is uh, the body and rest I'm using this stuff all the way and uh, just a two material or three maximum this is a goose by it this is a mahogany color or you can say brown dyed brown so basically I'm just going to take the longer bits off and then this is for the tail. So if you take two, two by it and kind of put them just to body size, a little smaller than body actually. Make sure the tips are level. So I'm going to take your time again, catch them on top. You can actually cut them and put them on, but as I can say, They're a little tricky to put them on, but once you catch them, just use touch and turn all the way. Hide this material. Don't cut them just now until it's just a body length we have to create, so we need a level body. Keep going. And now you can chop them off. And hide these. Open the thread. Come back. touch and turn all the way okay now I'm going to use exactly the same material for the body so you need a single by it and just catch it with the tip gently and use touch and turn again Keep going. And that's enough. Okay, before you bring your bite, I think it's just put some super glue or something on the body. So if you could just get some super glue onto the little pin. Not too much, and just cover all this just to give extra strength to these bites, you know, so they don't break as that quickly. You can catch few fish, and then it's alright to kind of break, you know. So, once you spread this around, and what you need is a huckle plier. Take your time again, don't put too much tension on it. Catch it. And now you can bring these. If you find this too much, you can take it off and use touch and turn.
I'm going to make sure you take your time here, catch it, and just go the turn. Take this extra piece off and hide the rest with the thread. Okay. Okay, for the thorax I'm going to be using two different material. I'm going to be using exactly the same by it, which is I'm going to get the thin side of it, not the thicker side, so single by it again. So cut this off, cut the tip off and just catch it on the middle. Make sure it's sitting on the middle, so that should be all right. Take care of this, and also I'm going to put this a little, um, what do you call a mirage tinsel, which is a large size. Uh, I'm going to hide that with the bite, but still you can see a little bit flush on into the thorax. So catch this in the middle again. Make sure it's sitting just on the top. Basically, this is how these kind of nymph I normally make them a bigger thorax, so they are nice in a still water, so that's fine. Again, right, okay, and for the thorax, I'm using this is a dyed claret, dark claret ostrich feather, so just a single strand, catch it, secure this and now what I'm going to do rather than using super glue, kind of wrap this around with the thread to kind of give it extra security, it will trap properly and it's not going to break. So once you've done that, I also you can give a little spin and then gently take your time and you can use touch and turn and if you could pull all these backward keep coming up take your time that's enough now up one end and secure this. Okay, pull everything back, take your time and hide all these. Now, that's okay. Bring these flush back. Gently catch it on the top. Make sure it's sitting okay. Cut one end and then pull this off. Then you buy it. Now, when you bring the buy it, make sure your flush is sticking out from either side of the buy it so we can have some flush. Now, once you've done that, if you can't break it, just chop it off. And then form the head. And we finish. As you can see, that's not bad actually. And kind of help with the tail. If 
you stroke these one down and what I'm going to do now put some UV raisins onto the head but that's where you have to be very careful if you can use a pin or something make sure your wire touching and you have to be very careful I mean even if it goes a little bit on the side doesn't matter but we need to just hide this once you've done that quickly just so there we have a brown or mahogany goose by it still water nymph if you want to use in a river you can add some weight on it really great pattern all year round especially this time of year and i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching